Harry kissed a boy and he liked it. Plus, he tells a controversial joke that gets scrubbed from TV, but is it a big deal? Hey guys, it's Gino with your most necessary story of the day, and Harry Styles was unexpectedly tapped to host The Late Late Show with only two hours notice when James Corden's wife went into labor and delivered a baby daughter, and Harry's got jokes. Just at the hospital uh, before I came to fill in, and, uh, and she looks a lot like James. Um, mainly because James looks like a giant baby. Now, this isn't the first time Harry has hosted, but it is the most controversial. For context, the same night, accused pedophile Roy Moore was running in a special election for the open Alabama Senate seat. This is a hugely consequential moment in American politics, and ultimately, the man the New Yorker reports was banned from an Alabama shopping mall for bothering young women and is accused of molesting multiple teenage girls lost the election. Anyway, according to eyewitnesses at the Corden broadcast, Harry quipped of the situation, I am very familiar with Roy Moore, I've had to throw him out of more than a dozen of my concerts. Okay, great joke, right? But it was cut from the broadcast because it was deemed too offensive. Here's the joke about Roy Moore that actually made it into the show. Roy Moore went to the polls this morning to vote for himself, and he took a very unusual mode of transportation. This is real life. Take a look. Roy Moore rode on horseback to just go vote there along with his wife, Kayla Moore. Uh, I don't know too much about hoofed animals, but I'm pretty sure that's an ass. Decent, but I actually like the other one better. But let's get to something more positive as the love between Harry and James Corden has finally come to its logical conclusion. Happy Christmas, Harold. I did not expect that for Christmas. <laughs> now, I know all the Larry stands out there are either disappointed or feel totally validated. And speaking of validation, a big congrats is also due to Harry. His first ever solo single, Sign of the Times, has been named by Rolling Stone the best song of 2017. This is high praise for a song that's almost six minutes long, and I'm definitely trying to find time in my schedule to see if I agree. Okay, this is a strange fact. Usually no one watches our videos about Harry. I don't know why, but give us a subscribe right up here if you'd like to help us change that.